Welcome back everybody to Farming Simulator 19 here on Spectacle Island. Folks, as you can see it's fixing to start raining. Or it is raining, it's sprinkling pretty hard. Alright, big drops too. But this is all I got left of field 18. Yeah, that's that's why I'm calling the, the new field up here on the big block as you can see here. We got 17 fields, so we're going to make this one as number 18. Uh, I was wanting to put some uh, some poo water on here. Come on, lift up. So far in the ground, they don't want to lift up. Oh, the ground's getting soft. That's what it is. Oh, get back on this hard surface. Oh, look at there. Oh, can we pull through it? We might have to let this go. Oh, wow, we're getting deep. I'm going to try to finish it, folks. It's the first time I've ever seen it get this muddy this quick. Told you it was big drops. Get back on this hard surface and it should be all right. Oh, this is terrible. But well, welcome back, folks. How y'all doing? The host with, not the most, Mr. Blue, a.k.a. Tommy Miller. Folks, today, we might not be doing very much or nothing. Oh, as you can see, we definitely can't get in the fields. Come on, raise it up. I can just put my tractor down in the ground more. Get one wheel up on here. You gotta go over into the truck. I guess we can go ahead and get things ready. Uh, we'll get our big tractor off that big plow up there on field six and uh, bring the slurry down here. We'll get the slurry tanker hooked up, fill up it and uh, the semi trailer with slurry. Or not slurry, it's uh, digestate. Hopefully, we got enough. Oh, I got this thing all the way up there, don't I? Here we go. Woo! Alright, I'm going to take a loud great field off. I'm going to lower this down and shut it off. And while I'm here, I'm going to go ahead and fly my drone. To give you all a look, idea of how big this area is now. I went a little bit overboard, as you all can see. Uh, yeah, it's supposed to be in a, like a circle at this point right here. But I went ahead and went a little bit bigger. And uh, doing all that, I filled up the silos, folks. Let's go in here and look real quick. Now I gotta redo this too. Let's see, turn our grass on and zoom out a little bit. And see our fields three, four, and or three, five, and six. Uh, still ain't ready yet. It's still the same day as it was the past two episodes. I usually don't do this, but I just want to come in and show y'all a few things. Um, one, let's go over here to wood chips. This right here. Well, this is a TMR and this is wood chips. We have 600,000. 600,000 what it holds and that's what we got. Both for a farm silo and the boat silo. Not the boat itself, but the silo right beside where the boat stays. It is uh, full. It is full, folks. And, and here's our vodka. 906. Uh, I forgot what it takes. It takes corn and potatoes, I think. But uh, that, that's going to be in season two. Our gold is down. Um, let's go on over here. We got these two that I have not done yet. I need to do them. I don't know if we got any more. Nope. Nope, we don't. As I got 46000 in the bank, I'm going to go ahead and uh, repay some of that about... 11,000 that brings it to 540 but folks I'm gonna go uh, get some things ready and bring them up here and uh, hopefully the rain has stopped let's go in here as you can see the next day will be uh, late fall or autumn I guess you would say this is going to last a couple hours actually it's going to last from here to the rest of the night so uh, Thursday is sunshine I might just bring y'all back Thursday then uh, probably see the midnight prices, but you can see after that Thursday and Friday we're good. So hopefully our crops will 
Oh, folks, this is going to get rough on the crops. Anyway, here's the animals. Pigs are at 40, and you can see the condition they're in. Need some water. Sheep's doing good. That sounded like thunder. Uh, anyway, gold. Cows need some TMR and some... I ain't worried too much about the hay and silage because uh, we need to keep some of that out. So they... Uh, We'll get a, so we can keep them clean. We can put it back in the box. I thought about going ahead and bringing this over, but we are running out of time. That's a big enough spot there. We still got to get digestate put down, cultivated, probably some lime put down. I think I'm going to do the lime first and then digestate. That way, yeah, we got all that off of there. But anyway, I'll bring you all back here in a minute. All right, I just want to bring you back. I'm going to leave this wood chipper up here somewhere. Because we're probably going to be needing it. I'm going to clear some more trees out. Maybe this spring. Maybe. All, all depends. But uh, I did talk to, I think his name was David. He said uh, I could have his first stall right here. So I'm going to park this here. There we go. And this bad boy is going to go back to the farm and uh, pick up a cultivator or something. So, yeah. And we're going to run on up here to our truck and we're going to bring it down here. Whoa. Because we got almost a full load of wood chips. And I don't want them to be raining on them, which is already too late. So, we're going to sell these bad boys. Alright, we're down here folks. We're going to sell these at this one. This is supposed to be the price of logs. I know it might be cheating a little bit, but we're going to see what it does. Our money is going up. Money is going up. Wood chips going down. You can see there. Just zoom in so you can see them. Not too much animation, but... Oh wow, look at there, it's going on up. Still selling. Big grand total of, I hope I can see it myself, 28,357 folks. Bring us 41,593. We are going to leave this trailer down here. And uh, we're going to go get the digestate slurry. We're going to park this in our field up here because it's so big. But I will bring y'all back here in a minute. Well, folks, I was passing by and I, I noticed something. I had more room here. So just, uh, I don't want to get wet too much, but look at here. The truck that was sitting here is gone. The trash is gone. Seems like something's missing around the house. Hmm. What was around the house? The, the car is gone. Oh, um, the, uh, the metal stuff around the house. The scapuling, or whatever it's called. I think it's scapuling. I think I said that right. It's gone. What is, what? Are they not going to finish it? Hmm. I don't know. But anyway, they cleaned it up quite a bit. Let's get this tractor on the back. we got to hook up to our... Uh... Nah, I think I'm going the wrong way. I have to go all the way around. I think I just take things over there. Let me find it. Be right back. Well, I found it, folks, but this grass done got real sloppy, wet, and muddy. Get the mud up pushing back here. Nightmare, it's gonna be a mess to clean up. Oh, I gotta go get this thing loaded. Alright, there's our truck. It's full of liquid digestate, it's ready. Uh, finally got this thing out and stuff, so we're gonna fill it up with uh, uh, digestate. I'll get it out here in a it's going to get the pipe under it. 
Should be close enough. All right, we got 308,575 liters of digestate. I think we got plenty enough to last us for a while. Now, while that's filling up, we're gonna go ahead and park this and I guess I'm gonna park it in here. I'm gonna leave the whole tractor now in here. Oop, up against the rail there. Shut that off. We're gonna put our field cultivator, our digger, or scratcher, there's a bunch of names for them. Uh, around here we call it field cultivator. Even though it's it, it's not it's not a row crop cultivator, because around here we got row crop cultivators. What goes in between the cotton and the beans when they're in a row? Um, trying to think. I guess I'm just going to leave this parked here. I hate to have the tractor out in the rain, but it needs a good washing anyway. Um, Alright, 34,500 of digestate. And a uh, big green barrel. <laughs> so it and the tanker should be enough. Hopefully. I don't know how fast it's going to run out. Whoa, don't hit it. Let's just get by it. There we go. And let's see here. We need to give some water to the cows and stuff. Uh, I don't really have the money to test this out right now. Plus we got all this pig food over here we need to get moved. So we're going to test that area out later. Um, I need a little bit of cleaning for the clown, clowns. Cow lounge. Oh, I can't talk. Let's see, let me get that back on so we see. Okay, 77% up to 100. And 78%. And yeah, there's no manure in here. They're making strictly uh, slurry. As you can see, there's slurry in here now. So yeah, a little, a little sloppy, but I'm gonna cut out through this way. Go take a look at the sheeps. Yep, yeah, they need cleaning a little bit. Let's clean them. I don't do this too much on screen, so that's why I'm doing it now. And the pouring the rain. So this for y'all look good to see. All right. I need. What do I need? I need to close this door for one. And definitely need to close this door. Oh, there's a tractor that I was wanting. Okay, he's going to be doing our line. How many eggs we got? Uh, 49 liters, okay. I want to show y'all something, folks. Uh, Mr. Yankee, Dan from 3D Outdoors. Uh, Mr. Yankee from uh, Yankee's Outdoors Adventures. They've been back here with some chainsaws and a tractor and stuff, and they ripped up and tore down a lot of stuff back here. Even took out my clothes line thing. I said, look, I got a dryer. I got a washer and a dryer. Just go ahead and take it out of your ground. I don't want to see those big undies out here. But anyway, it looks a little bit better. All we need to do is uh, um, somehow break this asphalt up. We might be able to put a garden back here. Put a couple of little potatoes and a little bit of corn and, and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, it'd be more better to mow this mm -hmm. summer. So yeah, it gave us, gives us a little bit more room, but smaller stuff back here. I just want to show that. I was going to show it last episode, but I forgot. Uh, folks, let me get my headings together. We need something to put lime in. Um, we need another semi, badly. Um, I guess I'll get the, the semi truck that has this bed and go get some uh, lime and stuff on it. But be right back. Yeah, I almost forgot about an important detail, folks. We need the the uh, what is this thing? The lizard crop sensor. We need it before we do anything across that field. That way we know how much stuff we're putting down everything where it needs to be. Right, I'll shut the motor off. Folks, I'll, uh, I'll 
pretty much got everything ready. I got the uh, digest eight thing over there filled up. Got the tank, the tanker filled up. Got the cultivator hooked up. Got the lime and the crop sensor hooked up. That's all we need. Uh, animals are taken care of, so I'm gonna go in here and I'll bring you back at midnight. So we can see the nighttime prices. But other than that, take my boots off here. Slip my slippers on. And oh dishes are still out. I'll do that later. I keep forgetting putting my dishes up. I think I'm gonna go in here and watch a little TV and maybe take a nap. Get some rested up for tomorrow. And, uh, yeah, I'll see y'all at the midnight for the midnight prices, and then uh, we'll go from there. Oh, folks, I had a terrible, terrible nightmare. And all that, about that picture there. It was like I was in a place all by myself with nobody around, like an abandoned farm. I had to start from scratch. Oh. Here's our price. Our loan interest is 1,404. Vehicle leasing costs 4,491. 73 vehicle learning costs. 205 property maintenance and 14,300 property income. Getting on up there. Well, yeah, that was weird. Starting from scratch with nobody around, and you go buy something and just magically appear at the shop. I'm like, whoa! I gotta quit working so much but anyway folks as you can see we got seven thousand i'm gonna go in here real quick and go over we got uh these two here we're gonna finalize and then uh we're gonna pay them back of course real quick and that brings our money our loan down to four hundred and eighty thousand, folks we're getting that loan paid off of course we got a lot of stuff a lot of wood chips to sell but i'm waiting for a great demand or something on them or a better price and right now 225 at wood sell point sawmill okay wood sell point you get just a little bit more for them like two dollars more but it's going down when it starts going back up and topping off i'm gonna sell the wood chips we got because we got a lot of them and we go over here and go down to wool with uh, wood chips. So today's going to be a, today's the highest price for them? Probably so. We might go again. Oh, 225. That's what there was. We'll find out more as we go through. We might have to sell them uh, next winter or something. Well, anyway, folks, uh, we are in late autumn, uh, day seven out of nine. And when we get to feel, uh, to winter one, I am changing it down to six days. So seven, eight, nine won't be there. It'll be one through six. Make our days a little bit shorter. That way we'll move on a little bit faster because it's been a nightmare waiting on time. Hey, let's see if our corn's ready. I doubt it. <gasps> Folks, our fields are ready. Soybeans and corn, they are ready. Oh, by the way, I did get uh, received a phone call last night. Of course, it's midnight. I don't want to do this tonight. I'll tell you about it in the next episode. We'll show you. Plus, our corn header, is post came in, they delivered it to field four. To our corn field. <clears throat> And um, I'm like, okay. I guess the barges are moving. <clears throat> Excuse me. Voice getting horse, or horse of a horse, or horse of a horse. Um, yeah, I'm going to end it here, folks. Yeah, I can see the hay from here. <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to sit down here and maybe watch a, a little episode of Mr. Silly P here on Very Nice. And, uh,. Y'all have a, a good night, a good day, or whatever it is to y'all. And folks, thank you so much for hitting that like button. Share me with your friends and show me love and stuff in the comments. Keep it up. Y'all rock. But I hate to go, but I got to get off here. So y'all have a great day, a blessed day. 
and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Oh, it's a game.